This is a video demonstrating how to install ANSYS Electromagnetic Suite on a Windows system. You would need to download the electronics package from the ANSYS customer portal uh, and extract it, and this is what it will look like after it's been extracted. We need to right-click on autorun.exe and run this as an administrator. and then select Install Electromagnetic Suite. Okay, hit Next. You'll need to agree to the software license agreement. Uh, you can set uh, the, def the location in which you want to install uh, the ANSYS Electromagnetics products. This is the default location. I'm going to use the default location, but you can change this if you wish. It will also need a temp directory for local and remote simulations. I'm going to keep this as the default temp directory. Note that if you do change it, uh, if other users are using this machine as a remote simulation machine, you will need to give them read-write permissions to that temporary directory. If you're keeping it default, you can keep this checked, in which case uh, it will allow everyone to use the temp directory as the location. If you have a common location for libraries, you can point to that. Uh, in general, though, the local installation is going to be default, so I'm going to go with that. Uh, this is asking if you want to integrate the electromagnetics products into ANSYS Workbench. Uh, so generally, you would need to have other ANSYS products installed that utilize Workbench and therefore ANSYS Workbench installed before you can integrate. Um, I already have done that. As you can see, it detected the presence uh, and the installation location on my machine. If you haven't done this, there is another video that demonstrates how to integrate the electromagnetics products into Workbench uh, if you had electromagnetics products installed first and then installed ANSYS Workbench after the fact. But since I have it already installed now, uh, I do want to integrate it, so I'm going to select Yes. Uh, this is to specify license information. So if you have a new license file or you need to specify a, a license server, um, or if you already have your license configuration set up, either from a previous version or if you already have ANSYS Workbench installed for other ANSYS products and you've already configured licenses that way, it will also bring in that configuration. Uh, if you just want to double check, you can view your current configuration. As you can see here, um, it is currently pointed to the license server that is this machine. So I have a license server installed on this machine and that's correct. So if everything, if you've already done this setup here, then you can hit next. And it's just going to go over the settings that you've selected, uh, where you want to install it, the available and required disk space. So this is a good place to check if you do have enough space to finish the installation of the electromagnetic suite and also uh, the license configuration that you chose. All right, installation has finished. Uh, if you are using this machine to accept remote simulations, you will need to install the ANSYS Electromagnetics Remote Simulation Manager and register it with this uh, installation of Electromagnetic Suite. Uh, since I'm just going to be using this locally, I won't be doing that, but you can set that up here as well. So I hit Finish. And that's how you install the ANSYS Electromagnetic Suite. Thank you.